now for semifinal number one in the National Division. Quickly on the attack, Sheldon High setting up their offensive setup here with Daryl Williams and Dakari Allen, both San Diego State recruits committed to the Aztecs next year. Hampton at the point, looking for some room to run. Side down the line lane, everything gets hit, and they're going to call a foul, going to slow the game down up a little bit. And we are just underway here. No score here from Torrey Fine's eye. Andrew jumping on a little fast here. And, and that's foul number one on Ryan Manning with uh, 30 seconds into the game. And not a good sign for Sheldon as Manning, their big guy that does all the dirty work down low. And Coach uh, Rollins is not happy with that call, talking to the official over on the side about it. But uh, Hemsley heading the line to shoot two. Hemsley, the 6'6 sophomore, misses the front end. Yeah, 6'6 sophomore. I remember watching him in this tournament last year and a couple other games uh, last year. And definitely growing a little bit since last year. And a big kid to have, 6'6, only a sophomore. Yeah, and still got some growing to do, possibly. Second end is good. And it's a 1 0 lead for Sheldon as Winward comes down on their first play of attack. Their point guard. Darrell Williams setting it around, looking for the jump shot from 15 off the rim. Rebound back to the, to the Huskies. Back in the lane to the drive. Fouled on his way up was Darrell Williams, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. He was Foul charge number three, had Charles a big uh, contribution in yesterday's win foul. in the quarterfinals to get him in here, Darrell Williams, uh, heading to San Diego State, and a very good free throw shooter as well. So we'll see if he can knock these ones down. And just like you said, the first one, perfect. And we're even up at one. 7-12 left to go in the first quarter. We're just underway in this first of two semifinal matchups here from Torrey Pines High School. As the second free throw is good, and it's a 2-1 lead for the Huskies. And Woodward now trying to set it up as Huskies set up in a man-to-man -man defense. Looking for some room to operate. That's Jordan Wilson, player of the game last year. He's going to take a long three, in and out, no good. And Wilson is lightning quick, quick as you saw right there with that crossover. But Sheldon with the ball, take it to the wing. Scoop it up and in, right, and that's two, Williams. And there's a happy head coach from San Diego State sitting right across from us. Steve Fisher here in attendance uh, watching his two recruits and happy with the early going here from Dierra Williams. 4-1, Sheldon leads, 6.29 left to go in the first quarter. As Winward moves it around, looking for a room, fire short, long two-pointer, no good off the front of the iron. Rebound back to Winward. This time a three-pointer from the top, and that's good. Yeah, Eli. you can't let Silverman Lloyd shoot. If you give him any room, he's going to knock it down and make you pay, as we saw right there from the wing. Too open if you're Sheldon, you got to get up on that guy. Even up now at four apiece, six minutes left to go in the first quarter. Yeah, Sheldon wings it around, looking for some room to cooperate. There at the top of the key, the free throw line, up and good. And that's Darrell Williams. And Williams uh, having a great first couple minutes here, as all six of Sheldon's points, two field goals and two free throws, with 5.42 left here in the first. Winward will set it to the wing, trying to find some room himself to get into the key. Back out for a three-point attempt. Back iron, no good. Rebound back to Dawson. Dawson loses it, and... Huskies now on the tack as Sheldon driving through. That's going to be Green. Green up and in, in and out, no good. And the ball will stay with Sheldon as it's tipped out of bounds by Winward. Yeah, Green had that one. He took it all the way to the bucket and was halfway in before it rolled out. Green, only a freshman, getting the starting nod in at the point position for the Sheldon team. Shot up, no good. Winward on the attack. Pull up jumper from 15, no good. Rebound for the Huskies. Winward shooting it up quick. They're not afraid to take the long ball. 5-11 left to go in the first quarter. 6-4. Sheldon with the lead. Darrell Williams trying it again this time. Doesn't draw iron on the jump shot from 17, and the ball will go out to Winward. After making his first two field goals, way a little short on that one from the wing. Had a good look at it, but uh, comes up short. Dawson at the point. Working against this Husky man-to-man -man defense this time again. Quick jumper. This time it's good. Wilson. Three-pointer. Evens it up at six apiece. This time driving the lane. And it's going to be a travel call against Dakari Allen, who tucked that ball in like a running back, lowered his shoulder, and 
try to work his way to the hoop. Going back to Windward and Jordan Wilson, he's, he has the green light to shoot. The lightning quick point guard can run, plays the two guard as well. But anytime he has an opening, he has the green light to shoot. And I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more attempts from Williams as this game goes as he traveled or he was held right there. It looks like a green I got him with the hold. Mm -hmm. Number 23, Devin Green, the freshman, 5'9 foul guard. Charge, his first foul of the game. It's going to be the second, second team, foul. team foul. This time trying to get into the post of the big man, Hemsley. 6'6 six, six sophomore. How do you look at him? He does have some room to grow. Yeah, he's a sophomore in 6'6 six, six frame. A lot of size on him as well. Misses that shot, though, rolls out. Holloway goes back to the Huskies now on the attack. 4.24 left to go in the first quarter. Even up at six apiece in the semifinal number one. Jump shot. Off the rim, no good. Rebound back to the Huskies. Working hard in for is Cuffey. Pardon me. That's a foul Manning will head to the line. Thank you. It's Ryan Manning on the rebound. Shot. And then Hemsley gets called with the foul. With the foul. Manning's kind of the lost the X factor on this team, kind of the lost piece that no one really talks about. They all talk about the, the two San Diego State bound players in Allen and uh, Williams. And then there's also uh, Johnson, who's heading University of Washington, but he's out ineligible until uh, January. But Manning does a lot of the dirty work and score, plays great defense, gets a lot of rebounds, and he kind of gets forgotten about in the, in the mix with all those great players. He's the role player that every team needs for championship runs. He makes the front end of his two and makes the second, and now it's an 8-6. Sheldon Huskies lead with 4-13 left to go in the first. As they pick up the press in the backcourt, now finally breaking through. Winward, and there, a, a flying, leaning, leaping leaner, no good. Rebound going to Williams. Williams brings the ball down court for the Huskies. Back out to Williams at the free throw line. Fights for the ball, gets it again, there's Green. Green back out to Williams, moving the ball around well with the Huskies this time. The big 6'6 man going to try the long shot from the wing. No good rebound windward. And back on the attack are the Wildcats. Tosca oh. out to the top, and that's stolen by lazy pass. Allen, Allen, he's about to Green. And Green stepped on the baseline, and that ball will go right back to windward. And windward catches the break there. Tosca with just kind of a lazy pass at the top of the key need to realize the type of team you're playing that plays tenacious defense is going to be trying to eat up on any loose ball, as we saw right there. And Sheldon picks up at half court and back on defense again. 3.23 left to go. Sheldon with an 8-6 lead over Winward here in the first quarter. As point guard Jordan Wilson set up the offense. That's Dawson, the other team captain for the Wildcats. Got a pair of 5'9 senior guards running the show for this one more team, pulling up for a jumper, three-pointer from a long three, distance for Jordan, Jordan Wilson. <laughs> and now you see why he has the green light. <laughs> eight, it's a 9-8 windward lead. 2.48 left to go in the first quarter. Huskies working around the perimeter. That's Lewis from the wing, and now Manning loses the ball, picks it back up. Darrell Williams takes it, swings it back out to the top, and Allen in and out, no good. Rebound back to the Huskies, saved underneath. That's Manning working inside, and not get strong, but not going to pick it up. Rebound going to Hemsley, and Woodward going the other way. That's Jordan Wilson leading the charge. 2.19 left to go in the first quarter. Swings it out, and ball lost by Silverman Lloyd. Can't handle hand it, and it'll be the Huskies' ball. Yeah, Silverman Lloyd there took his eye off it, looking at the basket, wanted to see how much room he had to see if he had enough room to pop a three and let the ball go through his hands before he had a good look at it. Got a force, or, uh, has the turnover on him. So Williams will bring the ball down for the Huskies. 2-11 left to go in the first quarter. It's a 9-8 windward lead. As the big man Manning works inside, can't get it, but pick up the trash at number 20. That's Antonio Lewis with a rebound on the shot, and that gives him a 10-9 lead for Sheldon. Antonio Lewis had a big game yesterday in their victory in the quarterfinals. It was kind of the X factor, and that one put him over the top over a, a tough team from Illinois. Driving in, and a great play dish to Hemsley. And give the credit to Wilson on the assist. 11-10, windward lead, 138 left to go in the first period. Semifinal number one in the National Division in the Under Armour Holiday Classic. 
As Dakari Allen drives and scores. Allen, he is tough. He had 25 points in the first game, 24 points yesterday in the win against Mundelein in Illinois. First bucket here tonight, but he's one of those players that can score points in bunches. Wilson sends it up over the top, a bad pass, but it's going to stay in the possession of Windward. Windward talking about uh, their point guard, yeah, Jordan Wilson. Great player in heading to Northern Colorado to play his college basketball. But not as recruited as, as heavily as maybe he should have been just because of size. He's so small, he's probably about 5'6", lightning quick. And as I say that, he puts up an air ball. But <laughs> <Rebound. laughs> of course, that, that always happens. <laughs> Rebound Huskies looking to drive and dish right back out to Lewis. Lewis goes in, loses the ball inside the paint. Able to swing it back out to the guard spot, and they'll reset the offense. 53 seconds left to go in the first quarter. And the Huskies holding a one-point lead. Manning at the top of the key now. They're going to weave this around a little Spread that defense out a little bit. Jump shot here, a long two-pointer off the rim. No good, rebound windward. Dawson with the board, and he'll bring it down court across the timeline with 34 seconds. Swing it around, and there's a long three-pointer off the front of the rim, no good. Pitched out, waiting to see who's going to get it, and saved good by hustle. windward. That's Dawson with the save. There's Wilson. Long three-pointer, no good. With 18 seconds left, he may be holding this for the last shot of the quarter. Yeah, the shot clock turned off, and smart move here from Wilson as trying to get the last shot here. Sheldon gets the ball to start the second quarter, so you don't want them to score and then get the ball right back. Silverman Lloyd working around, going to bite it right out to Wilson again. One second left, he puts it on right at the buzzer. Good, what a shot for three. Holy cow, Jordan Wilson, a 5'9 wonder for Winder, Win, uh, excuse me, Winward. Drills a three with no time left in the first quarter. And the Wildcats take a 14-12 lead into the second period. You want, you, you want more to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're watching here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play On Sports broadcast program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and all other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Play On Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play On Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube and youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. T.C. Wardell alongside Andrew Jensen from the campus of Torrey Pines High School in San Diego, California. It is the first of two semifinals tonight at the 2012 Under Armour Holiday Classic. And so far in the first quarter, when we're uh, coming out with a 14-12 lead, pretty much as you expected. Oh, definitely. Jordan Wilson with eight of those, with those eight of those 12 for, for Windward. And you can expect more of the same throughout this game, just kind of up and down pace. And you can expect Dakari Allen for Sheldon to kind of get a little bit more involved on the scoring column. And Sheldon will start it up in the second period with the ball on their side of the court. And of course, Darrell Williams, SDSU commit, working to swing the ball around. Ian Miller in the game now for the Huskies. The ball up and a rebound, and it's going to be a jump ball as both men fight for it, and the ball will go over possession to Winward. So if you're Sheldon right now, really, the guy that's doing all most of the damage is Jordan Wilson. So you just got to put your best defender on him, and he's one of those players that it's going to make tough shots, but you want to make it as difficult as possible. Make him work for every bucket. That way, you know, when he does have the ball, he's going to be exhausted come the end of the end of the ball game. And it looks like Shell or Windward loses that one out of bounds. No yeah. whistle. Sure. <laughs> no, no doubt. It's Charles Dawson, the senior point guard, slipped on the court trying to drive the left side of the lane. Lost the ball, and the ball turns over to Huskies, who hold a 14-12 lead. Now they trail 14-12 to Windward. So check that. As the Huskies work the ball around. A good job around the perimeter. Trying to find some room inside. Good defense by Winward. Almost stole it there. That was Drew Bryant. Now in the game for Winward at the guard position. Good patience on offense now by the Huskies. Out of the lane, working into Manning. Manning fighting inside. Yep. And he's going to get a 
call on this going to be a Did they call that on him? No, he's going to the line. Yeah, 33 oh, too. And Brandt, I believe. Really, Brandt, Brandt will be called for that foul. 6'4 freshman into the game. We're seeing some uh, wholesale changes here for the Windward team to start the second period. And Manning will go on the line to shoot too. You saw Manning's motor nonstop right there. Could have easily gave up on that rebound, but kept fighting. Now he's at the line shooting too because of it. And Manning hits the first. He's kind of that rambus that we were talking about <laughs> earlier. Everybody needs that one role player that's willing to fight and dive for balls, dig for everything, scratch for that last inch. And he just goes at one speed, the senior. Haven't heard if he's continuing his basketball career next year, but he's one of those players that will definitely help the program. Maybe not like a major collegiate program, but you know, smaller ranks. This definitely. is the second on the back. There's no question about it. He's not a player every coach needs on the bench. So a 14-3 lead for Winward as Wilson going to call his own number on that three-point shot. No good. Might have pulled the trigger a bit early on that one. And the ball will go out of bounds and stay in the possession of Winward. The coaching staff will take that. I mean, he's going to pull up some, some tough shots, and they're not going to fall. But we saw that one to end the first quarter that fell from yeah. super deep. So the coaches will take uh, the trade off there. Drew Bryant now in the guard position for Winward. Swings it back out to Wilson. Wilson's going to try another one this time. Yeah. Front iron again. And here comes the Huskies and losing the ball and a foul in the backcourt. I believe that's going against Wilson. A little frustrated there, tried to sneak up behind and Number get the steal. Five, it is going to be Wilson three, called with the push. That's his first. Four, and five, number four five, on the team for Windward. 6.28 left to go in the second quarter. Windward with a one point advantage, 14 13. The Huskies set up on offense with the, their point guard, Darrell Williams. Head coach Steve Fisher watching intently here tonight. Dakari yeah. Allen and Darrell Williams, his two recruits. As Devin Green looks to charge inside, covered one on one and played well against Bryant. Good defense shown by Winward, and that shot way off the mark. And here comes the Wildcats. Wilson goes cross court, long three point attempt, up and good. That's Stefan Toskovic for a tray. And, and Winward extends their lead 17 13 and a timeout on the floor. 30 second under Armour is the presenting sponsor of the 23rd Annual Holiday Classic at Torrey Pines. A proud supporter of high school athletics, Under Armour's technology is complex, but its mission is simple, to make all athletes better through passion, design, and the relentless pursuit of innovation. To find out more or place an order, visit underarmour.com today. And we thank you for joining us here on PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. 5.47 left to go in the second quarter. Winward with a 17-13 lead over the Huskies of Sheldon High in this first of two semifinal matchups. And game number two will tip off uh, immediately following this one. It'll be a great one. St. Augustine oh, yeah. taking on Salesian. Salesian has one of the better players in, in the nation in Jabari Bird, who's committed to play his basketball at Cal next year. And St. Augustine has a couple D1 players in their own right in Britton Lamar and Trey Kell. So it should be Ooh, a, a fun ball game to watch right after this one. There's a loaded basketball mm -hmm. team. For the Huskies, 537 left to go until the break. Sets up their offense. Work nice inside. Pass. Manning got some good position inside. And yeah. they're going to get that foul. Yeah, <laughs> trying to swing from behind. You're always going to get called. And Manning will go to the line to shoot two. And a beautiful entry pass. That's what Lacks on Toskovic, his first personal on Toskovic, but you see that lacking in a lot of high school programs where they fail to get it into the post, and that was a beautiful look to Manning there. And good things happen when you get to the ball of the post. You're either going to score or your guy gets fouled majority of the time. And he knocks down the first free throw. 17-14, Winward with a three-point lead with 5.31 left to go in the first quarter. Coming into the game for Sheldon is Antonio Lewis, or back into the game. As both teams uh, started opening the bench a little bit to start the second quarter. And the starters start coming back onto the court. Second offering by Manning is good. And the lead is now two for Winward from the 5.30 mark of the second quarter. Manning has six points, all of them coming from the free throw line. Perfect from the line today. Dawson, they'll do the weave at the top. Ooh, he and Toskovic, Toskovic will lose it, and now he's just fighting to keep his feet. And Wilson now trying to settle down the offense. 17 on the shot clock. He's going to pull up. He looks like there, he might. He wants <laughs> to. 
He's, he's close to stepping out of bounds right now. As he's about 10 feet behind the three-point line. He's, he's going to pull it. He's looking at him to clear out, asking him, I'm going to pull oh. it. He throws it to the wing. This time a three-point attempt from the right wing. No good just before the buzzer. And the ball tipped out of bounds will go to the Huskies. But that's what happens when you have the potential of Wilson, that you attract the whole defense, and if you, he had the ability to find his open teammate there, he can get his teammates involved because the whole defense is going to gravitate towards you when you're as uh, hot a shooter. The Huskies. I'm sorry. Dan. No, I'm sorry. You go ahead. <laughs> Huskies trailing by two. <laughs> Working the ball around the perimeter, cutting right through the middle lane and throwing back out to Manning. Manning's going to try a three-pointer himself. Dan Ooh. drills it. And Manning gives Sheldon a one-point lead, 18-17, with 4.30 left to go in the second period. Nine points for Manning, the leading scorer for both sides, and again, kind of the unsung hero that everybody kind of forgets about. And this guy play. can flat-out play. He can, and Toskip is having all kinds of trouble ball handling for Winward. Now Dawson's going to drive, nice dish take. it inside. That might go in. It does, and he gets the foul, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, we have a good one here tonight. <laughs> I have a feeling this one's going to come up uh, who has the ball last. And right now, both sides are stepping up. We saw an overtime game earlier. Yeah. We saw a triple overtime game yesterday and a double overtime game. So a lot of talent, and it shows, you know, with these overtime games, a parody in this tournament. I'm just about to think. I was thinking that myself, all the parody in these teams, especially in early season. As the three-point attempt, no good from the free throw line. Rebound, though, back to Winward, and now finally pulled down by Allen. And Allen on the drive is fouled. And that's a ticky-tack foul. That's going to put him at uh, six team fouls. from. So any other foul from here on out will be in the bonus. And that's second on Toskovic. So that's something to keep an eye on. It looks like he's coming out now. And it, uh, Roy Hemsley will check back in for him. So Toskovic, you're having a little bit of trouble offensively. Ball handling. And now he'll come out from the big man, 6'6 sophomore Hemsley. Give a little added muscle in the paint for Winward. Four minutes left to go in the second quarter. And a nice inbound yep. pass and in. Great job by Dakari Allen. From his pass from his future SDSU teammate, Daryl at Williams. Number 42, Roy Hits the shot and he'll go to the line. And that's the second on Hemsley as well. And so it looks like we're going to have Silverman Lloyd come in. And he is, well, he's not checking in for Hemsley, but Needs to be careful here as your big guy has two fouls and we still have four minutes left here in the first half. Oh, that should be a violation on the yep. shooter, and that is right. Allen no. over the line. And Steve Fisher, you can look him <laughs> watching across. <laughs> like, what was that? We're going to have to work on yeah. that one. <laughs> so Allen with the line violation, ball back over to Winward. 3.58 left to go in the second quarter, 2019. Sheldon with a one-point lead. There's Wilson looking to dish it off. Wilson in the corner, pinned in. He's going to shoot this one himself. That one's going to come up short and a rebound of the Huskies. And here they come quickly on the fence. Screen looks the shot inside and a seven-footer. No good in and out. Now Allen and ball back to windward as Wilson. Hey, he's, quick. Just, he's quick and he's <laughs> a heck of a ball handler. His shots have been short, though. The past three three-point attempts he's put up have been short. Lightning quick. I'd like to see him try to take it in a little bit more and use his quickness. That's an offensive travel going uh, the other way. But Hem yeah, Hemsley, a lot of momentum going toward the basket. But Wilson, he's so lightning quick. He, he seems like he settles for these deep threes, and he's a good shooter. But at the same time, use that quickness to penetrate and get into the lane and draw some fouls. So with 3:20 left to go in the second period, here come the Huskies. They're leading 20 to 19. And that's Devin Green with the ball. He's trying to set up the offense to draw out this man-to-man -man defense. Bring it back to Allen on the Williams. Good patience shown by this Huskies offense. Just under three minutes left to go in the third. A little fighting going on down below with Dakari Allen. Nice Allen, look. Allen gets it down low. Fights hard inside. Can't get it. Clean up the glass is Manning. Oh, Two points. Manning is everywhere. Nine 20, points in the corner for Manning. 22-19, Sheldon lead. And I think we have a travel. Right. Yeah, going back to Sheldon. Yeah, Silverman Lloyd, sophomore with the travel. And the ball back to the Huskies with 2.41 left to go in the second period. Huskies with a three-point lead. A lot of movement down low right now. Dakari Allen taking a bit of a beating. Him and Breland Brandt going at it a little bit. And there we have it right there. Uh, they may call a double foul here. Let's see. They got Allen is, yes, double foul. And they're both going at it. So Dakari Allen 
Fouls charge number 33. They're going to get caught. Both will get cautious. Brent and Allen have been having also their own Allen. personal battle in the paint. I like a referee doing that, though. I like a referee that's going to go and not just pick on one player. They're both pushing and shoving and jostling. And instead of, you know, finger pointing at one player, he went and said, hey, stop. We're going to call it on both of you. That's the good ref right there. Toskovic back in the game. Shot up. This time by Williams. No good. Rebound. Ball still loose. Williams gets his own rebound. They swing it back up and out. Trying to set the pick up top. That's Manning again on a long Ooh. shot. Manning, he's hot. Three-pointer for Manning. Yeah, that guy, I, and I told you coming into this broadcast, he's someone you want to look out for, the X Factor, the Young Sung Hero. And there's a good time to shine tonight when there's a lot of college coaches in attendance tonight, and Manning's having a heck of a ball game here in the first half. He already has well in double figure scoring and uh, numerous rebounds as well. Well, Manning's three gives Sheldon a 25 19 lead over Winward with 2.13 left to go until halftime. We'll have live coverage of basketball from around the country in March as we hit the section and state championships. March Madness will reign around California and beyond as we bring you action from one end of the country to the other. Join us in March for championship basketball coverage brought to you by your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Well, Ryan Manning for Sheldon High, turning some heads here this evening. Well, as helping Sheldon hold on to a 25-19 lead with 2.13 left to go until halftime. And uh, he, like you said, you've been saying throughout the game, kind of the X factor, the unknown and unsung hero that you don't hear about. But right now, he's making a lot of noise. He had two points, two free throws in the first quarter. And he has 12 points here in the second quarter. And we still have two minutes and 13 seconds left. He's feeling it. And definitely the difference maker thus far in this ball game. And you're looking to feed him the ball a little more. And he's a dual threat because he can beat you under, underneath the basket, but we've seen on two occasions yep. he can shoot it from long range as well, which makes it a nightmare for big guys to cover. And he's definitely not yeah. afraid of putting it up from the arc. As Wilson for a win word will bring the ball down court. Setting up the Wildcat offense. They trail by six. And Silverman Lloyd now. We're going to swing it around back out to Dawson. And they do a little weave at the top. And Tosco driving. Tosco with another bad pass. Silverman Lloyd thought about shooting. Going to put it back out to the point guard. That's Wilson. Anywhere is free game there. He'll put it up from 20. Now off the front iron. Gets his own rebound. Lofts it back in. No good. And gets his own rebound again. Hemsley there to pick it up and score it. And that was a much needed basket for Windward there as Hemsley finally stops the bleeding a little bit and trims the lead back down the four, but they were struggling from the field for the longest time up until that basket. And Williams Allen playing a little two on two, and now the ball floating out of bounds. I think it's going to go Winward's way with 124 left to go until halftime. Winward trailing by four. As Wilson sends it up to court. That's Dawson, the other senior team captain at guard. Toskovic nice pass. Dishes inside Hemsley. Nice play. Good heads up play. Yeah, credit Hemsley the bucket, but Toskovic had a beautiful pass. That assist was pretty. Winward cuts the deficit to two with just under a minute left to play until halftime. Manning looks to throw it around. Devin Green, step pass. There he is. That's against the Williams. Uh -oh. Manning again. Going to hit this one uh. off the bank. This time no good. And we're going to probably get a push off by Dakari Allen on the rebound. And that oh, is going to be on. That's number two on Allen. His second personal foul, fifth Husky team foul. Williams has been quiet. He had a big first quarter, six points, and, and has been quiet ever since. With 43 seconds left, women with the ball this side of the court. Dawson going to drive up in the land of the trees nice. and puts it in. Dawson showing no fear, goes up strong in the paint. And now it's a two-point Sheldon lead. No, it's a tie game. Ty, pardon me, yeah. pardon me, partner. <laughs> We're even at 25 apiece. Yeah. 22 seconds left until halftime. Williams holding it up, looking for the last shot. The spread four across the offense as he looks toward his coach. 10 seconds left now. They're going to set it up. And here comes Manning's up the pick. Instead, Williams going to put it up by himself. Inside out. Oh, go in and out. It. No good. Heartbreak. Going to get his own rebound. Up and no good, but fouled on the put down. And Williams will go to the line. Foul Pardon me. That's going to be Dakari Island will go to the line and shoot, too. 
His first personal foul. I was right the first time, wasn't I? Yeah, Williams. Shouldn't question myself. Following up on that miss he had. And getting fouled with 1.1 remaining. Trying to get some momentum back heading to the locker room. Williams hits the front end and gives the Huskies a one point lead. His first point since midway through the first quarter. And into the game now, Jalen Hicks into the game. Point, you know, the backup point guard, just 6'2", senior. As the second offering from the line is good, and it's a two-point Husky lead. One second left to go until halftime. Dawson's going to launch this one up, and that'll fall short. And we are at the half, and it's been a battle royal here from Torrey Pines High School. Sheldon High going to the locker room with a 27-25 lead over Windward. We're going to take a break and be back in just a few moments with our halftime show here from Torrey Pines High. You're listening live on PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports.
And welcome back to PlayOnSports.com, your home for high school sports from the campus of Torrey Pines High School. It's the 2012 Under Armour Holiday Classic. Semi-final number one in a battle between Sheldon High and Winward as Sheldon holds a 27-25 halftime lead. T.C. Wardell alongside Andrew Jensen. And Andrew, I tell you, uh, this claim a little closer than maybe I would expect that Sheldon to um, an outstanding team with two San Diego State commits. But boy, Winward just not giving up. They're playing just tough basketball right now. Yeah, they started to fall behind a little bit. and you, We were like, okay, well, maybe this is the part where Sheldon maybe starts to pull away a little bit. But Winward showing no quit and fought right back and tied it up. And it w if it wasn't for a last-second foul, they would have went to the locker room tied. But now they have a lot of momentum heading to the locker room, knowing that they can hang with these guys and that they can compete. They just need to kind of uh, put the clamps down on Ryan Manning right now, who has been the difference maker. Yes. He has... 14 points in the game to lead all scorers and really that's really been the difference maker if you neutralize him they probably have the lead right now well, I'll tell you right now with Sheldon High they're punching their um, frequent flyer miles not only do they have this uh, tournament here last week they were in Las Vegas earlier in the week they came over here for the Under Armour tournament after this they will take a flight out to New Orleans and they're <laughs> going to play in the all uh, the all state Sugar Bowl Classic so okay, NBA team out here. That is a heavy <laughs> Christmas break uh, travel schedule for this Sheldon High team out of Elk Grove, California, up in, near the Sacramento area. But when were the Wildcats? They are from West Los Angeles, the Mar Vista community of West Los Angeles. And they are actually a state Division IV champion from two years ago. In fact, they defeated Silesian in the state championship game back in 2010. Silesian, a team you will be seeing Next, in semifinal number two, as they take on San Diego's finest, St. Augustine High. Yeah, that should be a, a heck of a ball game, one coming after this, but we still have some business to take no care question, of here. No question. Talking about Winward in them in the state title game, every year they surprise people. Every year they graduate a lot of players, and a lot of players go on to play college ball, and then a lot of people say, okay, well, this is going to be the rebuilding year. But then they do what they do right here. They compete every year. They prove people wrong. And that's why they're such a great program. Well, they're playing the three-time defending Sac Joaquin Division I champions, Sheldon High. And right now it is almost even keeled by both teams as we prepare to start the second half of play as the Huskies hold a 27-25 lead, and they'll start with the ball. And that's future Aztec Darrell Williams standing at the point. That's Devin Green standing up and now trying to put the offense up. As Winwood has played some outstanding defense in the first half, looking to continue this in the second. Sheldon looking for an opportunity here. Manning's been the player. Looking to shoot, he decides to pull back and pass, and they keep it up at the top of the key. And this time, Green for a three-pointer and drills it to open the second half of play. And that's big for Sheldon because any points you get out of him is really a bonus. They're not expecting him to score a whole bunch. They're just expecting him to distribute and play defense. So any bucket they get out of him, definitely a, bu a bonus. Look at the counter is Dawson off the rim. Rebound to the Huskies if they have a five-point lead with 7-10 left to go in the third. Almost losing it. Williams had a great pass by Allen rather inside. Trying to get it to Williams. Rebound Hemsley for Winward. And the Wildcats on the attack. This time Toskovic's going to shoot a long three. No good. Bounces back off. And it's into the hands of Williams as Huskies back on their side of the floor. Manning looking to shoot. He's going to start taking himself. He's been hot. He stays Man. hot. Ryan Manning, another three, giving Huskies a 33-25 lead. And wow, the lead just like that has blossomed up to eight. And Winward's got to be careful, not let this one get too far out of hand as Toskovitz loses the ball. And quick inside layup by Antonio Lewis. And Winward maybe ought to be thinking about timeouts yeah, pretty soon. Yeah, I think we're going to see one here. You would think, but it uh, doesn't look like coaching staff is ready to call it. Coach Vega says, play on, gentlemen. It's a trail by 10 with 6-12 left to go in the third quarter. Good luck. Awesome. Nice look inside of Hemsley. Hemsley, the easy layup. That's exactly what this one for knee team needed. Allen on the offensive set. Back to Green. Sets it back down to Lewis. Lewis with a little baby hook oh. and score it. Two points, number 20. And Lewis contributing there. With a 37-27 Husky lead, 5.47 left to go in the third quarter. When we're not wanting to let this one get too far out of hand. Dawson pulls up, comes back inside. We've got to Hemsley. At the Travel. Top of Hemsley, you bet, the big man moving his feet. 
Check in the game for the Wildcats, number 20. Ball the Huskies. Hemsley is going to come out, and it looks like Silverman Lloyd going to check out as well. They're going to put a little bit more size out there with um, Matt Mason Shepard, who we haven't seen a lot of here tonight. And Roman Davis coming in as well. So Williams will bring the ball up for the Huskies. 5.30 left to go in the third quarter, and Sheldon with a 10-point advantage. As Devin Green looks around, he'll have to fire it out to the outside again to the wing. Looked inside to Manning. Manning's with a hot hand, loses it there. Ball picked away, and now Winward on the attack. Coming back inside, tried to get that ball to Toskovich. And Manning, who else? Got it, and Manning calls a timeout on the baseline for the Huskies at 5.08 left to go in the third. Today's game is brought to you by Give It. Highlights. Highlight life's epic moments with Give It and by the Lucky Duck Foundation, whose mission is to raise awareness and funds for charitable causes. Also, Torrey Pines Bank, where business gets done. T.C. Wardell alongside the coach, Andrew Jensen, from Torrey Pines High School, semifinal number one in the national division of the Under Armour Holiday Classic. Sheldon High with a 10-point lead over Windward of Los Angeles. And the Wildcats have got to be extra cautious here and not yeah. let this one get too far out of hand. And right now the Wildcats are showing their depth as well. I mean, everybody talks about Williams and, and Allen, rightfully so, great players. But now they're showing they have Manning, who's the leading scorer with all, for both teams right now. And now you got your other guys stepping up as Antonio Lewis and Green have scored this quarter as well. So other sources are starting to contribute. Meanwhile, Windward is really relying heavily on Jordan Wilson and Hemsley, and that, that's really about it. But Green will bring the ball up court for Huskies. Five minutes left to go in the third quarter. And Sheldon with a 10-point lead. Three-time defending Sack Joaquin, Division I champions. Fourth-year coach Joey Rawlings. Ever since he got there, they have won a championship each and every year. Manning thought about it for a second. He's going to shoot this one up. Might have handed his face. This time no good, but picking up the glass okay. is Dakari okay. Allen on the okay. rebound. Okay. And it's a 39-27 Husky lead. Wilson now for Winward. He was up and down, back to Toskovich in the wing. Tries to get inside the paint. Big man is using the body is and they're gonna get Manning. Shepard, 6'6 six, six sophomore. They got some youth on this Winward basketball Yeah, I know, and that was something we want, I wanted to talk about. You got Hemsley only a sophomore. You got uh, Braylon Brandt who gets playing time only a freshman. Mason Shepard a sophomore. Silverman Lloyd only a sophomore. So you got guys that are going to be around here for a while. And not only that, all three of those sophomores are six foot six, so there might be some room to grow with these young men. Yeah, one of them right here who just missed the free throw badly in uh, Mason <laughs> Shepard. But you can tell, he, for only being a sophomore, he's well built. So you can tell he, he's probably a football guy as well. Yeah, no question uh -huh. about it. Is this Winward team? They got some Looks hope like for a the linebacker, future. yeah. Yeah, he's a big kid. 4.25 left to go in the third, and both free throws missed by Shepard. Rebound to who else? Mr. Manning for the Huskies. And a 12-point advantage for Sheldon. As Williams sets the offense up for the Huskies. Spreading out the floor. Lewis up inside to Williams. Williams back out again to Devin Green. Green sees it, and Lane's going to take it. Goes upside, blocked oh, in the key, Shepard. and here comes Wilson. Wilson with a nice pass luck. inside. Nice job to the sophomore, cleans it up. Two points, Winward, 10-point advantage for the Huskies now. And doing the triple and jump. Travel. And <laughs> yeah, giving it back. But Mason Shepard on that previous possession got the block, and then he scores it on the other end. So not only showing his defense abilities with the block, but showing his hustle and drive getting down on the other end on the offensive side and position the score. Nice assist by Wilson on that bucket. 10 point lead for the Huskies, 338 left to go in the third as Shepard fights inside. Nice shot Ooh. by the sophomore, works up strong. And it's an eight point Husky advantage. Sophomore showing up for this Winward team. Yeah, as soon as Winward changed the lineup and have gone big, they've uh, started to go on a little bit of a run here. Showing a little bit more confidence. So Devin Green. Quick feet, trying to find someone, and he does so. Gets over to Allen. Allen back inside on a nice pass to Williams. Good give and go. Two points. Huskies, and it's a, again a 10 point lead for Sheldon. Williams now with 10 points. Toskovich from the wing, looking for someone to throw to. He's thought about shooting, but instead is going to get off to Dawson. Dawson one on one with Green. Dawson going to try a spin move inside the key. Jumper from 10. Good. 
41-33, Husky lead, 2.47 left to go in the third. As Williams often dishes off to Allen. Two-man game now for Huskies. Oh, they call a foul on going up, and I think they're going to get... Is that Dawson they might possibly get on that one? Wait. Charge to number three, Charles, oh, that's Charles Dawson. Dawson, yeah. His that's his second foul. personal. First, so the lead's still Two eight, but every time they cut it back four. down to single digits, Sheldon comes back on the other end and responds as Decon Allen just Decon. knocks down the first free throw. 42-33, Sheldon with the lead. 2.40 left to go in the third quarter. Winward's going to have to get a run here at some point soon. They aren't going to be able to trade baskets with the Huskies. Yeah, their offense seems to be clicking a little bit here, but they can't come up with the extra stop that they need as they get a big miss there from Allen. Yeah, sophomore Shepard with the rebound. That's nope. inside, maybe pushed a little bit, no call, and the ball goes turnovers to Allen. The Huskies, nice dish pass back inside, and this time a little too cute with the passing going for the Huskies, fighting for the ball. Allen comes up with it, and a jumper from top of the key, no good by the Huskies, but picking up his own rebound oh, his is own Antonio race. Lewis. And he scores, and it's a 44-33 lead for Sheldon with 2.11 left to go in the third. Lewis showing a great job there following his shot after that initial miss. Shepard gets good position inside. He's going to get Manning on the foul. And that's good fight by the sophomore. No, I think you know, they got Brant. Brant, that's his third. It's his third personal foul, second Whitworth team foul. A little battle down at the, in the paint with uh, Manning and uh, Shepard. Two big men going at it as we have an 11 point Husky lead with two minutes left to go in the third. Darrell Williams sends the ball down court in the game, Jalen Hicks for the Huskies. This time Allen with a shot, gonna go up and no good, rebound picked up by the windward. Big hustle play by Williams, but unable to keep it in bounds and the ball will go back over to the windward. Still only trailing by 11 to bring Hemsley back in, which I think is a good call because Hemsley was playing fairly well. And Brant has three fouls, but Hemsley was really starting to get into a little bit of a groove there. He has nine points in the game before he uh, went and took a seat there. So Jordan Wilson, Northern Colorado commit, bringing the ball down court for Windward. Looks up, then takes two dribbles, puts it up, no good, in and out. Yeah, it looked like he lost that on the way up. He did. Hicks with a rebound for the Huskies. 130 left to go in the third. 11 point Sheldon lead. Looking to extend. Williams with the dish it inside, gets his own rebound off the block. The ball turned over to Win Windward now, and it'll be Wilson going to try it on his own. Right hander. Ah. Oh, in and out, no good. And fighting for the ball into the hoop is Windward, and the ball is going to turn over to the Huskies. That's going to be called uh, against Shepard. And right now, Wilson's really struggling. He hasn't hit a bucket here in a while since that buzzer beater to end the first quarter is the last time he scored. And he had a great look at it there. The layup just wouldn't fall. And the offense really centers around him. If he doesn't, he's not doing the scoring, then you've got to find someone else to step up. And right now, working is Sheldon. Nice take. And another take. That's the second bucket. It's Antonio Lewis. And now Sheldon's starting to feel it. 46-33, opening up a 13-point lead with under a minute left to go in the third period. Yeah, Antonio Lewis showing his versatility there. He was fairly quiet in the first half, but with three quick buckets here in the second, in the third quarter. Dawson looking close underneath the Shepard. Decided not to make that pass. Toskovich from the wing again. It's an inside. Hemsley, Hemsley. I got the Shepard. Shepard's going to try this one. A high shot. <laughs> Up from the free throw line, no good. Hemsley, hard board, good, good put back. And two points for Roy Hemsley. 25 seconds left to go in the third. 46-35, Sheldon. And going one-on-one -on -one was Hicks. Hicks trying to dish it off to nobody who was shooting through the lane. And Bosch. I think it went off of a player of Winward. Hemsley's coming out, he's not sure why. He's asking his coach, hey, what's going on? Why are you taking me out? <laughs> it's a score, but, but I think play. it might be the right call. They don't want him to pick up a, a third foul here in the final 18.8. That's what I would do as the coach. So I don't I don't blame the coaching staff for taking him out here. Save his fouls. Well, Hicks now, I'm going to send him back out to the hot hand at Lewis. Devin Green now with 11 seconds. Left to go in the third, eight seconds now. Green dishes back out. Shot up from three, Ooh. in and out, no good. And two seconds left as Wilmer's gonna fire this one off at the last moment. That's gonna go good. Andrew Jensen almost picks up that rebound. Yeah, could have saved that, Andrew. I wanted my name to be in the, in the box score. 
But I think time has expired, so I, I wouldn't have been either way. So we're done with three here from Torrey Pines High School. Sheldon with a 46-35 lead here in semifinal number one at the Under Armour Holiday Classic. You want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for the Play On Sports Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. And Play On Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play On Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube and youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. <laughs> it's semifinal number one here tonight at the Under Armour Holiday Classic, the National Division. As we head to the fourth and final quarter, Sheldon High of Elk Grove with a 46-35 lead over Windward of LA. And right now, both teams kind of trading buckets. Windward not really trying, not really cutting that lead by uh, advantage by much now. And now they're going to have to make at least one big run if they intend to win this ball game. Well, they start the fourth quarter with the basketball. They have a chance to cut it to single digits, which is definitely uh, not impossible to come back from with the whole quarter left. So we'll see what they can do here at this opening possession. Well, Wilson needs to get hot. He puts this one up. That's off the rim, no good. And rebound going to yeah. Devin Green and the Hunter. He has got to to get the hot hand or Winward's going to be in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, he's been ice cold here since that first quarter, that buzzer beater. Manning with the ball for the Husky, sends it inside to Williams. Williams fighting it out and loses it, and, <laughs> and, but picked up by Manning. That's Winward's tenacious defense. 16 on the shot clock. It's an 11-point Huskies lead as Allen drives the lane. Oh. Now look at that. Oh, that was the Williams. That was, pardon me. That was Darrell Williams with the drive. One Aztec, either way. Yeah. Toskiv is going to try this one for three. High arc or good. And counters with a three-pointer and tightens the advantage to 10 points with a 7.09 left to go in the final quarter. And someone, I'm not sure who called the time. Was it uh, Windward called the timeout? So that's a good call. Have some timeouts. They need to get some stops. So call a timeout after a made bucket. That's the best time to set your defense up and try to come up with a steal on the defensive end. And they realize that they're at that time now. Like you said, they can't trade buckets. They need to come up with a stop. So a good call for the timeout. Set up your defense to try to force a turnover. It'll be good to see the senior 6'5 forward, Toskovic, get a little heated here. That three-pointer closes the gap, 48-38. Huskies with a 10-point lead. And still, you know, seven minutes and nine seconds left, so plenty of time. So that's not necessarily an issue, but they need to come up with stops. And Jordan Wilson's got to be a playmaker again, as you said. Talking about earlier, Andrew, he has really been quiet in the second half. And now this one's stolen oh. by Dawson. De Green trying to pick it back up, and Husky's able to pick it back, get the ball back. And now Allen back inside to Manning. Manning with a score. Oh. Well, Husky's Wind pulled that one out. Yeah, Windward did what they were told to do in the timeout. They almost forced a turnover and just uh, not lucky enough, basically, in that situation. 12 point Husky lead now, 644 left to go in the fourth as they weave at the top of the key. That's Jordan Wilson. He'll pull up from anywhere, anytime. He goes into the Valley of the Trees, and it's going to be jump ball possession going to the Huskies. Yep, that was the right call. At 5'9", he has been fearless going inside against the big men for the Huskies. And I think 5'9", is being generous. And <laughs> looking from our vantage yeah. point, yeah, you're right. I would say more five, maybe 5'7". Five, 5'9", five, on a telephone yeah. book. Yeah. As the Huskies quickly on attack, and there they are on the layup, and an out, no good, rebound to Windward. Trailing by 12, 6.24 left to go in the ball game. As Toskovich with the ball, looks inside to Shepard. The sophomore uses his body inside, nice Got play, it. beautiful oh, play for the young man. Two points, and it's a 10-point Husky lead. And that a lazy pass, and that should go no, but over to the Huskies. Windward said that should have been our yeah. ball. They just can't seem to get past this eight to 11 point barrier. You know, they get it down to maybe as close as eight or maybe nine, but then Sheldon comes right back and scores. They need to come up with a few more stops and get past that eight-point barrier to put the pressure on Sheldon. And Williams on the drive, takes it up into the paint, no good, but fouled. But, on. And Sheldon's doing a great job of just attacking the bucket, as we saw right there in awesome. Williams, and they have the ability to do that. So Williams will head back to the free throw line as Dawson was called for his third. And Williams, having a solid night, will head back to the line where he is four for four. 
the 50-40. Sheldon Lee with 5.58. Let's call it an 11-point lead after Williams hits the front end of the two. Semifinal number two coming up just moments after this one. St. Augustine of San Diego taking on Silesian of Richmond. That should be a barn burner of a game as Williams hits the second free throw and it's now a 12 point Huskies advantage with 5.58 left to go in the game. Jordan Wilson needs to get on track. If one wants to get back into this one as Dawson goes baseline, puts up on the pull up jumper. Tough shot. No good rebound, Mr. Manning for the Huskies. And wouldn't be surprised to see Sheldon slow this one up a little bit, just as I say that. They're moving the ball quickly. <laughs> Williams <laughs> playing little games with Wilson. And jump shot, lazy jump shot, no good. Rebound going to Winward. Opportunity now for Wilson. Goes right down the lane, puts it up with the right there hand, and that's in. Nice play by Jordan Wilson. And it's a steal again by Wilson and Dawson together. Ball back with Winward. Toski is going to try this one along too. Oh. Off the iron. Dawson with the board, saves it inside. And Winward staying with it, and a bad pass by Brandt. It was deflected, so it's not a backcourt violation. So Wilson needs to get back across. He can get back to get this back down to single digits. Five minutes left to go. Wilson's going to launch this one off the black court again, and he's really struggling from outside right now. And Brandt just picked up his fourth. He did fourth. And that was kind of a cheap foul. Six-four freshman for Winward with his fourth and. Winward continues to trail by 10 with five minutes left to go in the ball game. Still plenty of time, but now time is becoming an issue where you have to start being, reckon, you have to start recognizing the clock with uh, under five to go here trailing by 10. So every possession adds extra emphasis right now. Gary Allen gonna try this one himself for three. That one's off the iron, no good. Rebound inside to Williams. That one's a no good. Rebound Toskovich for Winward. The look up, he had, had Dawson. There he is. To the wing to Dawson. Dawson will try a th tray, and it's good. And the Sheldon leads cut to seven with 4.25 left to go in the ball game. They now finally break that eight-point barrier. Now let's see how Sheldon responds and see if they can push it right back up. If they're able to do that, I'll be demoralizing for Winward after finally be able to get it back down. Working at the top again, that is Antonio Lewis. He's had a good fourth quarter. Devin Green looking down to... Allen, Allen almost loses the ball, then does lose the ball under the legs Ooh. of Manning, and they are fortunate, the Huskies are, to maintain possession with 12 seconds left on the shot clock. But they have to realize that the shot clock did not reset, so they need to realize, and that's the point guard's duty, to let everybody know, hey, there's 12 on the shot clock. And this one's almost stolen by Dawson. Down to eight all of a sudden. Williams with six seconds left on the shot clock. The top of the key over to Devin Green. Someone's got to put this I don't know if they're real. There they go. And a launch, a long one, no good. Right before the buzzer, Dawson with the rebound. Wilson looking down court, crossing the timeline. He's going to put this one up from 10. No good. Nice tip inside by Brandt, the freshman with two points. And now it's a five-point Sheldon lead with 3.35 left to go. Brandt with four fouls, showing his athleticism there, jumping up and tipping that, and there's a steal. Wilson picks it up. Dawson gets it to the wing to Toskovic. Toskovic on the layup, in and good. And it's now timeout time for the Huskies. It's as Winward has cut the lead to three with 3.23 left to go in the ball game. And it's amazing. You know, I've seen it so many times in my day with you know, playing and coaching and, and being around basketball. When you have a big lead and you maintain that big lead, as soon as the opposing team breaks a, a certain barrier, as we talked about, it's amazing how fast momentum switches. It's crazy how it works, but it happens all the time. When a team finally gets past that, the team that gets past it, their momentum goes sky high, and the other team starts to feel a little bit more panicked, and we're seeing that here. All of a sudden, we have a three-point game. The swing of momentum yep. here. And basketball is a game of runs. I mean, and that's what it's all about. And when you allow a team to gain that extra confidence, you're asking for it. And Sheldon, they still have the lead, but they're playing like they're behind right now. Yeah. Winward is on the attack, feeling the offensive, trailing only by three with 3.23 left to go in the contest. Under Armour is presenting sponsor of the 23rd annual Holiday Classic at Torrey Pines. A proud supporter of high school athletics, Under Armour's technology is complex, but its mission is simple, to make all athletes better through passion, design, and relentless pursuit of innovation. To find out more or place an order, visit underarmor.com today. So with 3.23 left to go in semifinal number one of the national division, it is going to be a dogfight in this last three and a half minutes as Winward has closed the gap to a three-point deficit. And Sheldon leading 52-49.
and now need to regain some momentum as this Windward basketball team has got fire underneath their feet now. And Hicks bringing the ball down court for the Huskies. And that's one change coming out of that timeout. They put the senior point guard in, Jalen Hicks, over uh, Green, the freshman, because he's going to be able to, assumingly, be able to handle the pressure a little bit better. Allen on the drive, no good on the layup. Rebound's going to go to Windward, and here comes Wilson and the Wildcats. A few shots now. He's going to go right in the lane, put it up, gets the ball inside to Brandt. Oh. Brandt throws up a wild yeah. shot underneath, and Huskies will get the rebound. Opportunity asunder there for this Windward team. As the Huskies lead by three with 2.47 left to go. The Huskies may start slowing up the offense a little bit, at least that's what you would think. As Hicks asks Manning to come on over to his side. Lewis flings over to Allen. Allen sees an open lane, takes it, and fouled on the way up. Toskovich may get that one. And that's what Coach Rollins has to be telling his team on that timeout. Take it to the bucket. Draw all the fouls. As Windward has six team fouls right now, so every foul from here on out is going to result in free throws. Meanwhile, Sheldon only has one. So Sheldon has the ability and the... Um, the luxury right now to play a little bit more physical, knowing that if they foul on the defensive end, it's not necessarily going to result in free throws. Well, Allen's first offering is good, and it's now a four-point Sheldon lead, 53-49 with two and a half minutes left to go in the contest. Winward's going to need one more run here as Williams makes it a five-point lead for Sheldon. As Sheldon starts picking up at half course on the press, and and Wilson slowly bringing it up. Not a lot of time left here. To, need to break that press a little quicker. 2.18 and counting. One word trailing by uh -oh. five. Toskovich for three. Launches that one up. No good. Rebound going to the Huskies. Had a great look. He did. Williams with the board. He's going to slowly bring this one up court and use some clock as we are at the two-minute mark of the fourth quarter. As Williams looks to drive. Puts up a tough shot, gets his own rebound, waits to go back up again, and no good on the take back. And the sophomore, Shepard, with the rebound. Yeah, strong rebound there by Shepard and Williams. I'm not sure how that one didn't fall. Wilson now, turnaround, no shot. Brant trying to get the rebound, can't get it. As Williams with the board now, brings it down to Hicks. Hicks going from the wing, going to shoot it up. No good, but foul on his way up. And Hicks for the Huskies will go to the line with 1.36 left to go. Foul and Sheldon charge, with a five point lead. Charles Dawson, his fourth personal foul. And Dawson Seven with his fourth foul. And foul. That's 17 Two fouls, fouls for Winward. Jalen Hicks. That's Jalen Hicks' first free throw is good. His first point of the game. And typically yeah. he's a pretty steady contributor. And coming up big here. And we saw him coming out of the timeout. As I mentioned before, they had Devin Green, the freshman, running the point when. When uh, Winward made that run, they made the switch to the senior point guard and seemed to settle him down a little bit. Both free throws good, and it's now a 56-49 Sheldon lead. 133 left to go in the ball game. And Wilson needs to get this ball across the timeline quickly. And does so to Dawson. Dawson sees an open lane. He's going to take it with the layup. Up and in, no good. Rebound is no good by Brandt, but picked up by Shepard. And Shepard going up gets fouled. Working hard for the rebound, and he'll go to the line to shoot two with 118 left to go. Foul charge to number two, Daryl Williams. His first personal foul. Only the first Husky personal foul, foul for Williams. Two foul shots for the Wildcats. With 118 21. left to go in the ball Mason game. Shepherd. As the sophomore, Mason Shepard, with a high and, arcing and, free throw. And, and he good. is 0 for 3 from the free throw line, and you can tell he's uncomfortable. And the coaching staff for Winward's upset that they didn't call the foul originally on Dawson when he drove in because they wanted him at the line to shoot two rather than uh, Shepard shooting two here. They know Shepard's not the greatest of free throw shooters. Down by five, a high arcing yeah, free throw. That one. that one looked good, came down like rain. And now it's a four point Husky lead with 118. Pardon me, it's a six, six point yeah. Husky lead with 118 left to go Full in the ball game. Now taken by Winward. Their third charge, timeout. Timeout, Windward, 118 left to go in the contest, and it's a six-point Huskies lead. We'll have live coverage of basketball from around the country in March as we hit the section and state championships. March Madness will reign around California and beyond as we bring you action from one end of the country to the other. Join us in March for championship basketball coverage brought to you by your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. T.C. Wardell alongside the coach, Andrew Jensen, here from Torrey Pines High School, one of the 
uh, revered gyms of all time. One of the older gyms I've seen here in the county. Well, maybe not as old as Hoover's. I don't know no. if you've been in Hoover's gym, which <laughs> is a delight down in the, more of the central part of the San Diego section. Uh, right now we're up in the very northern part of the county. Hoover right in the middle of the city and one of the older schools in the county and you go in there they have the old pictures of all the old players hanging up from their, their day and a lot of great players have come through that uh, school in all sports. But it's the Under Armour Class Holiday Classic and to my final number one where Sheldon holding a six point lead over Windward of Los Angeles with 118 left to go in the ball game. Winner of this one will take on the winner of semifinal number two which will follow this one about, about 10 minutes afterwards. St. Augustine of San Diego and Silesian of Richmond, California will be battling it out for an opportunity to play in the championship game tomorrow, tomorrow evening. There's a delay on the court. And we're trying to clean up some spots, some wet spots here. Well, still plenty of time. You don't need the foul right now with 118. You can play a solid defense, come up with a stop, but if you give up a bucket, you're making things awfully difficult. Yeah. So right now is kind of do or die time on the defensive side for Windward. 56-50. Sheldon holding a lead, 118 left to go. It's been an exciting game. And the gym is almost filled to capacity oh, as... You know, San Diego, San yeah. Augustine coming here. And yeah, this is, and you can expect it, regardless of who plays tomorrow, it's right. gonna be filled to capacity. Uh, but yeah, with the local team in the semis, you can tell that uh, a lot of the fa faithful coming in from around the county. San Diego representing, getting ready for their semifinal number two. As the Huskies bring the ball in, that's Williams. Getting over to Allen across the timeline. Hicks looking to slow it up, back Ooh. up to the top. Williams patient with the basketball. 105 left to go. He's being hawked by Dawson. Right now you do not want to foul. Half the shot clock has already fell off. Don't want to bail him out here with the foul. Little an elbow there by Williams. No call. He's just it over to Lewis. Seven on the shot clock. Lewis has got to do something with the ball right now. He's over to Allen as they play their weave. Allen just kind of flies into the <laughs> lane, puts one up, gets the rebound. Ball still live, fighting for oh. it now. And who comes up with Manning? And Sheldon calls a timeout. And they play great defense for 35 seconds, get them to miss a, a bad shot, and they get an offensive rebound and resets the shot clock with 39 seconds. Now you have to foul. No question about it. 32 on the shot clock, 39 seconds on the game clock. Six point Huskies lead. And now Windward in a real bind. Yeah, I mean, right now, really, if you're Windward, all you could do is foul. I mean, and hope that they miss. You're still in the one and one, so you have that going for you. You have a couple possessions where they have a chance to miss the front end, and if they miss that, then they're going to get the ball back with a chance to cut into that. But if they make their free throws, life is going to be pretty tough for Winward to come back. Yeah, Winward st really struggled from the wing today, too. They have outside shooting in the second half, almost non-existent. Most of their points really coming inside in the paint. And give Sheldon a ton of credit. They had that big lead. They saw it get sh shrunk down to three or four points, and they showed some composure and were able to boost upon it again. And you know, control the game. So give them a lot of credit and showing why they're why they're one of the better teams in the state. Well, the sophomore Wonder Smith comes into the game for Winward. Might Thirty. Be, I'm sorry. Might be one of their better defensive specialists in there to try to get a steal. Thirty-nine seconds left to go. Six points. Sheldon leads. Sheldon with the ball. That's Williams. A lot of bodies starting to fall. <laughs> Ooh. And this one lost. And what are they going to call? It looked like it was a steal. And there's the technical. Now, and Winward going to get a bench technical on Coach Viegas. Not happy with the calls. It looked like Drew Bryant had come away with a steal. And that will pretty much wrap it up. And he was asking for it. He was barking at that same official for the longest time. The official gave him a stare. And believe me, I'm familiar with those stares. And when they stare at you, they're kind of giving you a warning. And then he continued to go at it. And you saw that technical coming a mile away. And like you said, that could be the death knoll here for Winward. And that one free throw will pretty much ice it. And not only that, Sheldon will get the ball back. So it's a seven-point game, three-possession game, and they're going to have possession with only 33 seconds. I'm, crazier things have happened, but it's going to be really tough. They're only going to have to come from seven with 33 seconds to go. And the Huskies get the ball. And, and now, now they're going to shoot the free throws. Right, now it's the technical. Manning will go to the line to shoot these. He's been Two more foul shots, solid from the line tonight. Seven-point lead as the gym continues to fill up in anticipation of the St. Augustine Silesian game in semifinal number two, which will follow this one and tip off about 10 minutes after our game f finishes. 
and that's 19 points for Manning tonight. Mm. As it appears, the Huskies will prep to go on to tomorrow's championship game with a 59-50 lead over Windward with 33 seconds left to go. And the ball at half court. That's Hicks out. Now they got so a foul. They, and they do so immediately. So they got the technical free throw. They got two free throws because of the foul, and now they get possession of the ball. All because of you know the technical. And so any thoughts of a comeback have pretty much now been erased as the lead is now to nine with 29 seconds left. Two free throws will make it double digits again. This is an, this Winward team. A lot of it's somewhat green, I think, for a typical LA Winward team. You've got so many sophomores and playing some freshmen and a couple juniors. I mean, this is a team that's got some building blocks for the future. And we're going to be pro probably hearing from this team in the regionals and state for the years to come, especially with some of the size these sophomores come into the game with three at 6'6". Six, six. Makes the lead double digits with Hicks free throw there. And keep in mind that Windward, even though they lose here tonight, they're still going to be playing live on our broadcast tomorrow in the third place game. So they'll take on the loser of uh, the next game with Salesian and St. Augustine. Meanwhile, Sheldon's going to advance to the championship game here in 18 seconds. They'll play a little keep away here with, with a 10 point lead. and. 13 seconds left to go, and Wimward's going to concede as well. Not going to fight this one. So heading to the National Division Championship game tomorrow night will be the Sheldon High Huskies with a 60-50 to 50 victory Final over Wimward Wildcats. We're going to transition right into the Sheldon Play on Sports postgame show and kind of choose our the player of the game. And then I'm assuming that you and I are going to be on the same page with regards to... Um, Mr. Ryan Manning, the power forward for Sheldon High. Yeah, Ryan Manning really dominated. He was a little bit quiet in the second half, but went off in the first half and, and came up big when he needed to in the second half and showing why he is such a valuable asset to this team. So Ryan Manning, our player of the game, and typically we like to have interviews uh, with our player of the game. Unfortunately, with the uh, such a short time in between, we won't be able to do it uh, for this one. But Ryan Manning, Sheldon High's power forward, our PlayOnSports.com player of the game. So we're going to take a short break and transition to our next broadcast team for semifinal number two. St. Augustine High of San Diego will take on Silesian of Richmond. You're listening live to PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. <laughs> 